a very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this tutorial, we will delve into dynamic actions that facilitate the activation and deactivation of page items. For a particular job, the hire date and commission fields will be activated, while otherwise they will be locked. Additionally, we will learn about revealing and concealing page items tailored to a specific job. When the designated job is chosen, the two fields will be revealed, otherwise, they will remain hidden. In Oracle Apex, dynamic actions are a powerful feature that allows you to define client-side behavior for your web applications without writing custom JavaScript code. Dynamic actions provide a declarative way to define interactions and responses to user actions on the page, such as button clicks, item changes, page loads, and more. They are designed to simplify the process of creating interactive and responsive web applications. Dynamic actions allow developers to create interactive and responsive user interfaces without having to write extensive custom JavaScript code. This is particularly useful for developers who might not have in-depth knowledge of JavaScript but still need to create sophisticated web applications. Dynamic actions in Oracle Apex provide a declarative way to define and manage client-side behaviors and interactions in your web applications making it easier to create interactive and responsive user interfaces. In Oracle Apex, there are several different types of dynamic actions that you can use to create interactive and responsive behavior in your web applications. Each type of dynamic action is associated with a specific triggering event and can perform a variety of actions in response to that event. These are just a few examples of the types of dynamic actions available in Oracle Apex. Each type of dynamic action allows you to define a set of true and false actions that determine how the application responds to the triggering event and associated conditions. By combining these dynamic actions, you can create complex and interactive behaviors in your web applications without writing extensive JavaScript code. Let's get started. After creating the two pages, run this page. This is our interactive report. Edit any employee name to see the form page. As you can see that the hire date and commission fields are enabled, no matter what type of job you select from the job list at the moment. Open form page in the page designer. Select the job page item and change its type from text field to select list. And define the list of values using this SQL query. It's provided in the video description. Create a new dynamic action. This one demonstrates how dynamic actions can be used to control multiple items and also that disabling items works for multiple item types. To achieve this, the page contains one dynamic action called job equals salesman. 
This fires whenever a different job is selected from the job select list and checks if the value is equal to salesman. If it is equal to salesman the commission and hire date page items are enabled, otherwise they are disabled. Now run the page to test your work. As you can see that the hire date and commission fields are disabled at the moment. As we select the salesman job the two fields are enabled. And when we select any other job then the two field items are freezed. Now, create another dynamic action that will hide and show higher date and commission columns. For this you have to delete the previous dynamic action. And this second dynamic action shows how dynamic actions can control hiding and showing page elements, including controlling the item's label if it exists. To achieve this, the page contains the same dynamic action called job equals salesman. And fires when the job page item changes and checks if the value is equal to salesman. If it is equal to salesman, both the hire date and commission page items and their associated labels are shown, otherwise they are hidden. Now run the page to test your work. As you can see that the job field is selected to manager. And hire date and commission fields are hidden at the moment. As we select the salesman job the two fields are shown. Otherwise, they are hidden. That's it for now. Hope this video was helpful.
Stay tuned with Tech Mining for more new videos similar to this. Thank you for watching.